even Joe Rogan, he's all over Operation Northwoods. He's not touching any conspiracies, but he is he he is really vocal about Operation Northwoods. And Joe is super not conspiracy. He's not fucking with any of that shit no more. Uh, Can he at that level? It's so hard. Hey, I don't know, man. I don't know. But he's not fucking with them no more. But he does fuck with Operation Northwoods. So, and if anybody's listening, what is Operation Northwood? We've talked about before, but in case someone's tuning in for the first time, Operation Northwood is where basically a a paper uh, uh, a plan got to JFK's table. Yeah, when when Operation means. Generally, it means like some kind of CIA plan. Yes. And they have, there's like operation. Military, operation industrial, mi- military, fishbowl. industrial. Yeah, it's like a military thing, too. Maybe it's not just a CIA thing, but it's either only a CIA thing or a military thing, too. Uh, it has to be probably just considered a military thing because I think Operation Fishbowl and Operation High Jump was probably done before the birth of the CIA. So I'm not sure about that, but Operation Whatever. Operation Paperclip, Deep Operation State. There's uh, military it, industrial. Complex. This is a plan that has been written out. They had they had to write this shit out. And it got to JFK's yeah. desk. And basically what they wanted to do was fake attacks on airliners to get blame it on the Cubans to get America behind a war to invade Cuba. Yeah. And there's, there's gonna be drones too. Yeah. Drones. Yeah. yeah. There, they were there's, doing drones way fa- back. False then. flag is it's it's old school. Empire 101, it's real. The government, if they want to attack country A, they uh, um, have fun some operation to attack ourselves and blame it on country A. Uh, so to get, to get everybody uh, on board to kill or to go after country A. It's the it's, foundation it's, of our country. If you're not doing that, if every country's not doing that, you guys should be fucking fired, you dumb motherfuckers. That's basic ass Empire 101. You learned that in kindergarten and you try to fucking it's build the an team party. Are you kidding me? That's old school shit. You guys aren't doing that? Tell me a country ain't doing that shit. And I'll show you a third world ass country don't got shit who's well, yeah. being run by. I mean, us. there are some countries that aren't doing that, but they aren't they aren't trying to be world powers and and basically run the planet and all that stuff. But basically, I mean ISIS, I mean, through time we found that ISIS is uh funded, was created by the CIA, funded by the Saudis, armed by us, and they go into countries. Someone put out this really great uh, graphic that showed the countries that we are allies with have not ever been attacked by ISIS. The countries that we have problems with all have been attacked by ISIS. Well, it's really it's obvious. So this is this is this is exactly what I'm saying. Uh, and then you, you take that bullshit, uh, and then you you find out that. Uh, the Pentagon got busted spending f- like five hundred million dollars on making fake terrorist videos. Oh yeah, by the uh, that's a great story that really so, got under swept under the rug, yeah, which no, was nobody this famous nobody reported on it. It's, so that's obvious that everyone's in on it. When you see that, it, a, a retard can see that. It goes no if if the mainstream media is not reporting on some real epic shit, shit yeah. they're connected to it. It's simple. So basically what happened was that it got out that somebody actually at this PR firm came out and told everybody that the CIA paid this very, very powerful and uh, prestigious PR film to create the ISIS beheading videos. And there's actually someone shot them shooting it against the green screen with the sand and all that stuff. And that... Not that they've never beheaded, but when they beheaded all the white guys, they're like, they got Tom Earl from blah, blah, blah. That was it. Now, I know Pearlman, that New York City guy, was there, that probably re- really happened, but there were there were a lot of these videos that got, like, for a while there, I was talking about, you know who's the greatest social media person? ISIS's social media guy was killing it for a while. I was like, this guy's on fucking fire. He just knows how to get his content everywhere. And then you find out that there's a fat, fat check that went along with getting all that stuff out and a lot of people they don't want to believe anything unless it comes out on the ne- the, the three letter networks the, or, or an M- the alphabet networks they call them they, they unless it's told by them but you have to understand something 
like Rach, Jimmy Dore talks a lot about this. If you ever watch the Jimmy Dore show, he talks a lot about how Rachel Meadows, right? She makes three thirty grand a day doing her show. A day. Do you think she's going to do anything to rock that boat? Do you think she's ever going to go off on her own? Or she understand that she won the lottery, and it's not sports. I could take her out and put another uh, power, good-looking lesbian in there to read a teleprompter and tell you what the the, the deep state wants you to know. Uh, this new thing I, 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 is this: these uh, verified checks on Twitter. All these people have verified checks. These neoliberals have these, and they just call for like they, they they beat the drums of war. They call for Trump to be thrown out. They, you know, they're, they're the uh, anti-fascists now. And the truth is, they're just, it's astroturfing. And if you don't know what astroturfing is, that's where a fake movement is done through the internet. They make fake, uh, they make fake profiles, all this shit, and they put out. And these people with these, these neoliberals with these blue checks by their name on Twitter, they just, they just spew out this propaganda that wants to get done that will never affect them personally. They will call for war constantly, knowing that they will never fight that war. Professional trolls. Professional trolls. Yeah, that's that's the movie. You know, CNN is part of it, and the whole, the all the liberals and all the all the I mean, fake Jeff shit. Sucker's all from the ha- Harvard. There's no more in on that one. Harvard and Yale make up every person on the Supreme Court is from Harvard or Yale. Yeah. Almost every single president is from Harvard and it's Yale. It's a club. I want in on that club. There's a lot of cool shit about Open the Illuminati. Open a jiu-jitsu place in Harvard. Are you kidding? The Illuminati's got a lot of cool shit. They got to stop fucking kids. What They got to stop that. Which was very interesting. I they don't want to do too much what, that once, 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 we, once they figured that out. I'm, I'm, I won't join unless they stop that. That's the rule. That's, Stop fucking kids. That hey, listen, like, I, I want to join. For. I want to, dude, I want to be in charge of CNN. Give me that shit every now and then. I want to come up with some shit. I will fuck people up. I want to do that shit. I like trolling motherfuckers. I like getting away with some bullshit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll build another guy. I'll build like a new space station that's like 10 times bigger. And dude, you, I will, it, it, trust me. What do you think about I want to get it we got some stuff we want to talk to you about about 911 but what do you think about the government who says we don't have enough money to pay for health care for everybody is now just did a giant like 100 billion 200 billion dollar program to uh, start funding space, military space operations Oh my god that's brilliant they're right? brilliant I would do that if I was running the if I was in the Illuminati Brilliant. Man. You'd you'd fight aliens. Are you kidding? With Fuck him. yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Our final story today. Um, it's a little out there, and I do mean um, out there. The New Times, uh, New York Times, breaking the news that the Pentagon has been secretly researching the possible existence of UFOs. Apparently, the Department of Defense uh, launched the program in cooperation with former Senator Harry Reid uh, in 2007, and it spent 22 million dollars each year searching for unidentified flying objects until the program was shuttered back in 2012. Joining us now to talk more about this, one of the authors of yesterday's fascinating New York Times article, uh, journalist uh, Ralph Blumenthal. Ralph, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Talk to me about the research that that went into this. Uh, Okay, first of all, it was not 22 million a year. It was 22 million total, which is really a drop in the bucket of the Pentagon budget. But it went for research into these objects, and no one knows what they are to this day, uh, that have been seen by Navy planes, they've engaged with them, uh, they've been reported by witnesses, uh, but uh, beyond that, we really don't know much. Um, and the research went into um, trying to uh, identify their strange means of propulsion, their phenomenal aerodynamics, which represent nothing on the face of this earth by any country. Um, and the research, uh, even though the program was officially uh, it ran out of money in 2012, it, it really has continued, we found out. So what's been going on? Why, and why have they not publicized the fact that it has continued? Well, it's a controversial. It's a controversial program. A lot of people. Uh, there's a ridicule factor. A lot of people are afraid of. You know, the, the people would make fun of the government spending this money, as has already happened in other media. Um, but there's also a lot of fascination. There is fascination. This is probably the most uh, watched and looked at story the New York Times has run in a long time because wow. uh, people are fascinated by the subject. Yeah, so what, what, what are they finding? Have they found anything so far? Well, um, 
they have confirmed, in effect, for the first time, that these things exist according to, to what the program said, uh, that they have established a kind of reality to these objects that didn't exist before, that the government was standing behind, um, or at least this unit of the, of the Pentagon. Uh, they have, as we reported in the paper, some material from these objects that is being studied so that scientists can try to figure out what accounts for their amazing properties, uh, this uh, technology, these objects, wh whatever they are. Um, so they have made what some progress. What type of material? Uh, they don't know. They're studying it. But it's some kind of compound that they don't recognize. Uh, they have, as we reported in the paper, some material from these objects that is being studied so that scientists can try to figure out what accounts for their amazing properties, uh, this uh, technology, these objects, wh whatever they are. Um, so they have made what some progress. What type of material? Uh, they don't know. They're studying it. But it's some kind of compound that they don't recognize. So a lot of questions still. <laughs> more, it, it, Not a lot of answers. More questions than answers. As we always have with UFOs. Progress. Yeah, but it really is fascinating stuff. It despite is. Despite the fact uh, that, that there is ridicule that It'll comes take some attention away from, from the day to day. So yeah. Let's put it that I, way. I'd like a little respite, wouldn't you? <laughs> we could a use it. Yeah, I'd like to talk about UFOs a little bit more these days. I gotta well, say. It's, it's a fascinating subject. Yeah, it certainly is. All right, Ralph, Ralph Blumenthal, I wish I had more time with you, well, um, but we have run out of time. Thank you for joining Thank you. Appreciate it. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. That's not an LNS, though, is it? It's not. That is an LNS, dude. Well, the fair's a good thing. It's rotating. Planet Jiu Jitsu, have you ever been to Russia? I've never been to Russia personally, but there are Russians who are, are so if part you're, of the system. If you were able to get over to Russia, you could take one of those MiGs and they would take you up in a. Would you take one of those planes that would get you up Fuck the no. ionosphere so you Fuck could see no. if you're... You don't want to go that no. far? Like, I don't, I don't want to go see it. On the wild I don't give a shit. No. I don't give a shit. No? About space. I don't... I'm not going to... I'm not trying to go to Antarctica or nothing like that. I... Listen. Why don't you, you want to go to Antarctica? I don't want to go. Why? Because I'm fucking uh, just a sitting duck. You think they'll kill you? Either someone's going to kill you, or he, w w w what if uh, the flat earthers are right, and it is just an infinite flat plane, you know? The funny thing about that is... Uh, People have no problem believing in, in infinite balls. It's like, oh, infinite balls, yeah. Infinite balls. Infinite play, you fucking retard. Infinite balls. As what do you mean by infinite as as balls? I've never planets, heard that. Like just the, the universe is infinite. Just goes. Yeah, it's just, just goes. planets forever. Stars yes, forever. Yes, 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 yes. Infinite balls. Right. Yeah. Infinite, infinite plane. No. Yes. Yeah. No. Infinite balls, yes. Infinite plane, no. <laughs> okay. I often I wonder if, like, the flat earthers are maybe just mistaking simulation theory. What do you? Th what's your thought or, on or that simulation a, theory? That we're in a holographic universe. Maybe I don't know. So maybe I, I, all I know is this. All I know is whatever the mainstream media is saying, it's not the. the it, it's the other side. What is the other side saying? That's it's always that. It's the mainstream media is never saying the right shit. Right. Never. When did that start? Always? Ever. Has Never. it always been like that? Never. That's what television was created for. So radio? like when, when everyone's pushing global warming, we need to stop global warming. I'm, oh, I'm on the other side. The other side is that's just a fucking tax scam. You're scamming everything else. You can follow the money real quick. That's a tax scam. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to do a carbon tax. Oh, let's scare everybody with global warming. Who's behind that shit? Al Gore? Come on, man. Already you're like, come on, his, man. His... That guy's a criminal. And he's, he's the dude. So whatever they're all collectively saying, like His everybody, daughter married a Rothschild. everybody child. collectively says something about North Korea, like like uh, Kim Jong Un who doesn't got a have haircut, a federal and then everyone had to have bank. the same haircut. They everybody pushed that story. Remember that story? Doesn't have a centralized bank. Maybe who knows what North Korea is? I think North Korea is just fucking just a prison camp of actors. They're forced actors. I I think that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I don't know. All I know is whatever they're all collectively saying, like Kim Jong Un just got a haircut, and he like shaved the sides. And and if you don't get that haircut, you go to fucking prison forever. That's some crazy shit. And then That's everybody jumped on it. Shit. And then you look into it; it's all bullshit. Now let me. Ask Everybody's you into so basically, anytime the mainstream media agrees Tells on something, something overall, yes, it can't be the truth, right? It can't be. I respect that. You can never look at a CNN headline and ever think they're looking out for you. It's some kind of shit that's looking out for them. Do all the players at CNN know that, or do they think they're doing a real good job? I think everything generally, when you're running an empire, you're fucking trying to dominate, everybody's on a need-to-know basis. Like... That's always the fucking number one rule. You Can, know what I mean? We're uh, trying to run a fucking empire here. It's not good that everybody knows everything. Yep. Okay, let good. me address that how real that quick. Uh, I, Explain I, to I, me how that's good. I think it's good. Because Are we going to get more power if everybody knows everything? No. Explain to me that we're going to get more point. power. Explain to me, prove to me what, that it, it turns out that we're going to get more power if everybody knows the truth. Then I'll tell them the truth. I've had people come up and say that to me. And they go like, well, what, wouldn't somebody come out and say something? And we've had that. And these people get demonized. Look at Bill Cooper, right? Is that his name? The, rope, the, uh, the Behold the Everyone's getting suicided. Are you kidding? Yeah, everyone's getting suicided. We had a couple... The guy his life ago. went to shit. They made his life miserable to the point where they ambushed him and kill him. Listen, I, I was telling, I was talking to Tom Segura like that. He's like, wouldn't someone come out? I'm like, dude, to move up these levels is like the they go painstakingly through the details of your life. They are spying on you. NASA, you don't get to the top of NASA or the top of wherever you're working at within the government, the Federal Reserve, Wall Street, unless they know exactly everything about you, your fucking soul, everything. So if you show even an inkling that you won't play ball, you don't get moved up and you get thrown out. Fuck yeah. And the guys who move up, so when you get to the highest levels where you know entertainment all the shit's going as well. Down, entertainment Entertainment you got to well. play ball. I mean, there's guys I watch. I go, I wouldn't doubt it. That motherfucker is a pedophile. And I've talked to you, and I'm not going to say their names. But I watch these guys. They're these beta dudes with these feminine fucking traits who just moved very quickly in this town. And you're like, huh, sums up. Like, have you heard that? Somebody sucks some dick. Daniel T- I'm like, I don't care if you suck dick. I mean, I'm talking kid dick, though. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Hey, that's what I'm Daniel talking about, Daniel Tosh too. did a big thing on uh, YouTube about these these children, these really creepy YouTube channels that are kid shows, but if you watch them, they're very fucking pornographic, and you're like, and Daniel's like, 10 billion views on these videos. Do you, you don't think that the fucking government finds out who clicks on these videos and starts watching these guys, and maybe one of these dudes suddenly like, hey, I'm, I think I'm going to run for office. Boom. We're going to fast track this motherfucker because he likes fucking kids, and we're going to put him in a weird fucking place, and we're going to fucking, and we're going to we're gonna film him. There's a famous producer that used to do that, who we'd throw these coke and hooker parties, and then when it came time for you to renegotiate your fucking contract, he'd throw a video of you fucking licking some tranny's asshole, and he's like, okay, you're going to take this number, or else it's going to get out. It's, it's systematic, dude. It's all blackmail. It's all blackmail. Yeah, that's it. That's how you would do it. That's the genius of it. Look the at genius Chuck of it. Schumer. Hey, Look at all these in. guys. They're so feminine. They have feminine, super feminine, super feminine. And that's not against gay guys or or trannies or bi- uh, whoever you are. You do you. But there's something going on with these guys that they get very high up. Like that Lindsey Graham. Does anyone think he's not a flaming gay? Lindsey Graham, the Southern Republican guy who talks with a lisp, and every time he opens his mouth, a purse falls out. I mean, uh, I mean, are we actually not thinking this guy has done some shady shit to be the voice of everything? Most people don't know that. Allegedly. Most people don't know that. You know what's a trip about those six moon missions? <laughs> Check this out. I just thought about this the other day. Isn't it fucking weird that every moon mission had different astronauts? Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, and that other dude, and that third dude, they go up, they do the impossible, the most dangerous thing of all. They fucking land some shit on the moon. They can't even launch rockets on Earth that good. And you're going to launch a rock, you're going to launch something from the moon, and then you trash everything and get rid of all the data? Come on, man. 
come on. So that was like 1969. So can you imagine Neil Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin when they found out they weren't going to go up like for the second mission? <laughs> what, what, wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you send the same motherfuckers? Because the guys that actually did it, yeah. have the experience, yeah, they've no, done it. They've been there. No, let's fucking experiment every mission. They drove a golf cart on them. They were they were doing donuts yeah. on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> like, how, how does that? Like I look at those. I see that. I'm like, they were boning out doing some like Dukes of Hazzard even, shit. Even even skeptics the these days are going. But they're going. Yeah, this is what skeptics are saying now. They're going. Yeah, they probably faked the moon missions. But you know what? It's a different time. Russians and stuff were powerful. We had, we had a race with the moon. So, then like, like, wait a minute! You were just saying I was a nut three years ago, and now you're like, yeah, they probably faked it. Uh, but you know, the Russians, bro, the Russians. No, I'm with it you. It was dude. a race. Like, bitch, don't change that shit. The you fucking said thing. I was crazy three. To, you say you were wrong, motherfucker. Don't say, oh, you like you knew it the that's, whole time. That's, like you knew it the whole time. Like now with chemtrails. Now, now with chemtrails, now they're like, oh yeah, dude, they're just doing some weather experiments. Yeah. Like, bitch, you said that was the tinfoil crazy shit eight years ago. And now it's like, yeah, if they're doing it to save the fucking planet, it's for global warming. Mean, they're it's not a secret, bro. It's not what they've been talking about. If I said to you, talking about if I it. said to secret. you, Eddie, or anybody, you Ryan, if I I said to you, boxing is corrupt. 99% of the population would say 100%. And I go, why is it corrupt? And they'll go, because it's money. They're making money. They're doing this. I'm like, what about the biggest sporting event in the world? War, space, government. That's the biggest sporting event in the world. We're talking the Pentagon has either lost or spent $13 trillion since 9-11. And, and that's another beautiful thing. Is Jesus it? Christ. Are you kidding? They could just straight just say, hey, we're missing fucking two points. No, there's trillion. no accounting. We don't know where it's on. We're going to get to the bottom of it. And then that's it. And then everybody's just like, you guys are crazy. Ugh. You guys are crazy. Ugh. They just, they could just say it. They know, like, getting back to OJ. Uh, uh, Michael Jackson and Bill Cosby. They did. They they were. Yeah. Uh, they were high level. You right. know. They were about as high level. They were up there rubbing. But shoulders. are you saying but to me no, that you I'm don't saying, think they did any of this stuff? No, no. Michael no. Jackson is no, the only one where no, you're like, eh. no, no, no. You don't think no. uh, Bill Cosby raped? I'm not even done talking. Okay. I'm just saying, <laughs> relax, relax. Right, I haven't on. even started. Right, I'm, I'm saying. What what do all three of them have in common? All three of them have in common. They've been accused of the worst possible shit. Bill Cosby, 50 rape, Not just rape. 50 rapes. Right. And then Michael Jackson, not just one incident. Fucking decades of incidents. Yes. And then OJ, the worst slang. Fuck Charles Manson. Right. Dude, that shit got sliced up and then Ronald Goldman got that was some that was a serious murder. OJ. You know what all, all three of them have in common? Black. They all got off. They all got off. Like, how did they get off? They're connected. How do all the Vatican priests and all that? You know the guy in uh, Australia? Check this out. The guy in Australia, there's a big cardinal. Yeah, right they, now. They, they, they all, guess what? I'm going to make a prediction. Yeah. Nothing happens to them. They have to, they tell them. That's like, like you're going to have to run through this shit, make it look like you're going down. But guess what? When it's all said and done, acquitted. And then it's news for a week. And then it's. Yeah. Like, well, that was the whole theory. You got to, you got to run. You got to, I think they make them walk. I think Bill Cosby, OJ. I don't know. OJ could have went three different ways. A, he could have been the killer. I don't know. Could have been his son. Yeah. Or that's a theory. There's a documentary on it. And. It could have been that another theory was that OJ hired a guy to rob her jewelry that was his and he paid him and some guy, he's like a serial killer, hired for he was supposed to rob her, but Ron Goldman or whatever was Stopped there. Stopped it. And then it was like a She just got son, weird. Yeah, she just got weird. It could be that. It could be that or a son, because the son conspiracy theory, that's a deep one. You yeah. gotta watch that one. OJ, the untold story, watch that angle. And then of course he did it. I think 
hundred percent he knew what was going on. You watch that Netflix documentary about Robert Kardashian's bag about the bag. Yeah. <sighs> when you know that's an example. You know that's what made me. That was this. That was the censure. That was the censure right there. Watching that documentary, the fact that Robert Kardashian had was on video with that bag, that Louis, that yeah. Louis Vuitton bag yeah. filled with shit. Yeah. They caught him on camera walking out of OJ's house. While OJ was being arrested, and they saw him like just walk away, and he never account. They never asked him for it. It was never brought in as uh, evidence yes. or anything. You yes. know what that tells me? Right. We just got to get through this goddamn trial. It's going to be a media circus. It's going to be ugly. You ready for it? It's going to be ugly. Just fucking just keep your head down and just keep moving forward. And what happens? It's I'm almost always, like a blood it, people sacrifice. Are gonna forget. You just get through. It's you. Something happened. Some something happened, and he just said, "Hey, you guys got to get me the fuck out." There is I'll bring you all down. I'll bring you dies. all down. And Michael Jackson, are you kidding me? Michael Jackson, like motherfucker, Walt Disney and shit. He got all them kids. How come Mike can't have kids? You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody around Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was so confident he didn't give a fuck. He was young and was already with little boys. Young. He was with early Michael Jackson, 1974, 1976. Michael Jackson yeah. was already with kids. Yeah, was already with. He was with kids all the time. That was Michael. He was the dude at Studio Fifty Four, where he was hanging out with all the divas, all like the like Liza Minnelli and shit. He wasn't hanging out upstairs partying with everybody. That's what people said. Well, Michael Jackson there, he was hanging out with the chicks, like the 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 like the fag hags, Barbara Streisand and shit like that. Yeah, and like Patti LaBelle. Yeah, he uh, and he was. I don't know, man. I don't know. My, I don't know. You know, I don't give a fuck. You know what? No one cares about the kids. No, one, people are acting like they care about the kids. Yeah. When you bring up Sandy Hook, oh, there was twenty kids. Like, listen, it could have been twenty fucking gorillas. <coughs> it didn't fucking matter. You look into shit. Shit happens. It looked kind of fishy. There was a drill going on at the same time. Yeah. That's so it. there's all these false flags going on everywhere, and all of a sudden CNN's reporting on it. So you already gotta go. What is CNN putting on? Oh, it's CNN's putting it on. So whatever they're saying. So already, based on all the lies that are coming from CNN and all the Operation fucking Northwoods and all these false flags and 9-11 and Tower 7, of course, when you see an, uh, an incident like Sandy Hook, whether it was, it may, I don't know. It looks like when you look into it, there's a lot of fishy shit. There's nothing wrong with investigating. And the fact that there's people going after people questioning it, that's yeah, a sign. That that's a know. sign right there. That lets you know, don't act like you care about these 20 kids. What about the, all the fucking kids in Iraq that you fucking killed? How about the one fucking million civilians that you fucking killed? Why don't you talk about that shit? And why don't you talk about the fucking, hey, do you know that if you look into it, there's tremendous evidence that in wa there's a gigantic pedophile ring in Washington, D.C. It's gigantic. There's all this evidence. We don't have time to talk about it, but there's all this crazy evidence. And guess what? Um, 800,000 to a million kids a year get kidnapped. And that's part of the, the whole pedophilia ring thing is they kidnap kids. And they put them, they torture, they kill them, they rape them, they put them into prostitution. That's what they do. A lot that's what's going on. people think that the uh, kids that are these homeless people that are so insane, yeah. they think they're part of that, Not that probably. they use and abuse and then they just chuck them out. Probably. Probably. I wouldn't doubt it. I, that doesn't, that makes sense to me. They're going somewhere. So there's this, so it turns out there's 800,000 to a million kids get kidnapped and most of them from Washington, D.C. I mean, how retarded do people have to be? Yeah, why you would know? you live with and, a kid and, and in and Washington, D.C.? people defend that. People are like, that's not true. That's not true. Instead of like, you know what? That's true, motherfucker. That's true. Is that real true? Like, no, no, it's not true. Where'd you learn that on YouTube? No, he's like denying. Like that's the real problem. You're talking about some, some really odd, strange event that happened at Sandy Hook. People are questioning because there's a lot of it. Just the fact that you can get hammered for for questioning. Listen, we're trying to figure out what happened. Twenty kids died. We want to know what the fuck happened. Relax. We're trying to look into the truth. Don't you? want the truth and the truth has already been told the truth has already been told let it go let it go why did Jesus they do that Christ. why because you know there's some fucking racket going on there's a racket going on and so everyone's quiet 
about a million kids getting kidnapped a year. That's a million kids getting kidnapped, and you're talking about twenty kids that yeah. that you know may or man may have not died. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. There's some fishy ass shit. When That's why it's that. tough. That's to fishy go ass shit. Eddie, let me ask you something. Why do you think when people, if I go, do you think politicians are are liars and corrupt? The percentage, what percentage do you think would say, yes, they're liars and corrupt? What percentage, right? 70%. I would say you're 100. way low. And I would say 100% of the people. Even my mom would say, yeah, yeah they're corrupt. That, that they're corrupt and full of shit. Yet, they believe- yet, they take these, on certain things, they take them at face value all the time. Yep. I think that's massive. They defend, they defend, like, I I tell people, I do a joke about it. I'm like, you are defending people you don't even know. You are arguing with people on Facebook with people who, your mother who brought you into this world, wiped your butt until you could do it yourself. You are arguing with her over Hillary and Trump. Two people you've never met. Most likely will never meet. No, no details of them unless of what they've wanted you to know. And most of that is PR bullshit. Yet you you fight truth and nail yeah. because they got the same letter by the name. Fascinating. It's fascinating. Right? It's fascinating. Because we have to. They defend them. They're like, they're like defending all the information coming from NASA. Let's defend them. They've been so good to us. Yes, yes, I do admit. They fake them moon missions. I do admit that. But you know what? They got their shit together, and they really are looking for us. We're really trying to get to Mars, okay? Yeah. We're really trying to get to Mars, all right? It's going to cost billions and billions, but we could do this. We're already getting rovers. We're going to have fucking shopping malls on Mars before you know it. We're, you know what? Basically, everything you see on TV is bullshit. A hundred percent. I'm in a relation with a woman I, I care think- very much about. I come home, she watches television. I question whether I should be in this relationship anymore. She's watching CNN all the time. I love her with all my heart, man. But she can't Maybe. stop watching because she thinks she's being informed. And I and you know you gave me the best quote ever that it's better. You know what was the old saying? Uh, that's better to be uninformed than misinformed. And I can't believe I can't I can't agree with that more. It is better. To fucking not know what's going on than not know what's really going on. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's better to have no, I don't know what the fuck's going on, than be like, oh, yeah, they're, you know, serious chemically, they're using chemicals on their people, and we have to go in there and save them. That, but even though our bombs kill more of them than, than Assad does, we're, we're, doing, we're fighting for freedom. And the, the, the wars never end. Yeah, just like North Korea. Since the, North, since the Korean War, when, uh, how many countries has North Korea invaded uh, versus how many countries have we invaded and, and killed we millions of people? We are the empire. Like, I think we've invaded at least 30 countries we, since then, and North Korea has invaded define, none. Um, none. The, the define I don't even think invaded. North Korea is real. We have special truth. forces. I'm beginning to think it's not real. <laughs> what? I'm beginning, I'm beginning to think it's not real. I don't know, man. There's something. It's like a prison acting camp. It's just a... It's, think all about, those guys think are about, getting SAG think about, vouchers? Think about the mainstream, the mainstream timeline, all right? Yeah. Korea was, was run by Japan. Japan owned Korea. Yes. And then after World War II, yeah. Japan lost. Yes. So the United States took South Korea, and the North Korea went to the Soviets after World War II. This is mainstream shit. This isn't a conspiracy. This is okay. what they tell you. Yes. Right? This is in the So book. then in the Korean War. It's been tight. So, so North Korea was taken over by the Soviets. Yes. And, and by the sa- way, everybody who got taken over by the Soviets got the shit end of the deal, right? East Germany, North Korea. They got all the shit stuff. We get, the guys we took over, they got porn, anime, octopus fucking porn, right? Yeah, South Korea lucked out. Yeah. Uh, but North Korea, after World War II, got taken over by Russia, and it it appeared to be just like super right. ultra Stalin. Like they decided, okay, we got this country. It's it's almost like the Soviets wanted to experiment. They put an Asian, a Korean looking dude. You know, there's a lot of Asian Russians. They took one of oh, their yeah. guys who's a, a look uh, Asian. Go to Kazakhstan. They you put go, him. Oh, in. a Russian fucked an Asian and made these people. Yeah, so the, they totally look like Russian. That Asian. was the first. Uh, a czar of 
North Korea, super Russia, Russian, like super worship the ruler, the dictator, the tyrant. They just they just want to experiment, so they went crazy with it, and then the, uh, they started bu- fucking with South Korea. And then that's when the Korean War started. Again, this is all mainstream knowledge. And uh, then we went in during the Korean War and made 18 cities disappear. What? That's mainstream. Yep. 18 cities were leveled. Firebomb. So, firebomb. So, the Soviets retreat. They backed out. And then so then supposedly China took over like governing it but not really occupying it, but kind of just governing it because the Soviets retreated. Okay, that's where it's kind of get weird. After the Korean War, now it's a weird North... That's when the weird North Korea started. Soviets leave. Yeah. Chinese are governing it. Yeah. And then, it's, and then it, it leads to what's going on today. Watch those films. There's something... It's almost like they... It's almost like they need a country... To distract everybody with, oh, they're 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 testing missiles, like motherfucker. There's not even nuclear bombs, motherfucker. So when you say that, like you don't even have nuclear. It's a a big uh, TV show. You watch. I know I've talked to people about that, Eddie, about how like in Japan, you know, you have these guys that leveled this. I mean, like if you go on Mars, right? If you they tested the soil of Mars. I think were you telling me this? Xenon one twenty nine. Yeah, it's nuclear weaponry level uranium, right? Uh, um, uh, Weapons grade radiation, uranium. right? Weapons grade uranium. Yes. Well, Nobody lives on there, okay? Because there's this whole theory that used to be something, and someone dropped a bomb the size of the Empire State Building on it. This is the theory, Mars? right? This is the theory, okay? Yeah. In Japan, if you drop the bomb on Hiroshima, you can't move right in there. Yeah. It's It's done. Yeah. For a lot, I mean, like, we're not even talking, like, Chernobyl. I mean, you go by Chernobyl, it took forever for people to move back there after that. And that was just a fucking... It depends on what you, what information you take. But it turns out Chernobyl is fine. And it's always been fine. They just made everyone evacuate. You got to make it look dangerous. They sacrifice cities for that. If there's a nuclear plant that blows up, they... They gotta make new, it's gotta be dangerous because isn't isn't this the, isn't this the shit nuclear energy that that uh, c- causes radiation and you gotta move out so everybody moves out they sacrifice the city but they really don't have to they could just go right back in and just like coal plants blow up they blow up and people die people melt they blow up then they put it back together patch it up reopen it nobody moves out you could do the same thing this is the conspiracy theory about nuclear energy. That um, it's just used for fear. They try to figure it out. And, uh, you know, the Manhattan Project, that's what it was all about. Trying to figure out. The theory was if you could split the atom inside of a bomb, oh, my God, this bomb is going to be like fucking 100 times more powerful than a regular conventional bomb. It was a theory. Yeah, we got to split the atom. How are we going to split an atom inside of a bomb? Like that was the whole thing. That was the what the Manhattan Project was about. So they spent fucking a trillion dollars on that shit, trying to figure it out. There was like a race, like the race to the moon. Same yeah. thing. It was a fake race to the moon. It was a fake race to making the ultimate weapon. And you know what? They they couldn't figure it out. This is the conspiracy theory. And they said, yeah, we we dropped the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They did destroy those cities, but they firebombed them just like they did every other city. But they pretended that it was nuclear bombs, and it wasn't. They never figured it out. It was a theory that never got figured out. And then they realized, we don't even have to fucking figure it out. People think it's real. It doesn't really matter. It's so crazy. I'm envisioning, hear me this out, a part vice show. Part Anthony Bourdain, maybe even part science, and they take Eddie Bravo around the world. They they get vice can get you into into North Korea. They take you to. Places I don't give like, a shit. I I like the fact that they're fooling people. I think it's brilliant. I don't want to blow that shit. I want to join that shit. You just got to stop fucking kids. I like it. You got to stop fucking kids. That's all. And I then want. we gotta we gotta fire stop some people in NASA because if I go to Illuminati, dude, you gotta. There's some bullshit you guys got to fix first. You got to fix that motherfucker who keeps saying you destroy. He goes, I would love. He was one of the astronauts. They got to f- fucking. You think it's weird they never did an interview? Like, 
One like of the ast- never. An astronaut, like a, an astronaut of today. Ever. His, uh, his, he goes, I would love, t- I would go to the moon in a nanosecond. He says this on video. I would go to the moon in a nanosecond, except that we uh, destroyed all the technology and it's been really painful trying to put it back together. Unbelievable. Like, like who the fuck let that guy, how is that guy still alive? I would, right away, I go, what you'd have to do is you'd have to, uh, make a hoax video that that guy never worked for NASA. Really easy. And get, kill get him. Get Mick West on the case. Yeah. Get, he's the fucking suicide. master of that. He needs a suicide. No. Oh, he, he never existed. He's crazy. Yeah. Delete all his records Never NASA. worked with us. You got to make some debunking videos that that guy is like, that was a hoax video. Didn't they do that, that with like, the CERN you guy? Can't be, you can't be saying you destroyed all the technology. And it was six missions. You would is think, it current You would think they destroyed, okay, you destroyed one of them. Okay, I get it. That's horrible. You destroyed all the data and all the uh, all the the telemetry data and all the raw audio and f- video footage for one mission. Thank God you did five other ones, right? Thank God you destroyed all of them. Yeah, I'm yeah, they're you. all gone. I'm with they're you, all dude. gone. It just... Like you guys can't be talking about that shit. You got to keep that shit under. You can't talk about on nine eleven, dude. The owner of the twin towers, Larry Weinstein, is his name, or it's like Weinberg Weinstein, something like that. Silverstein, Larry Sil- Silverstein. Larry, Larry Silverstein. He was there every. He had bought it like uh, like six months before. He was there every day, except that one day. He was not. That was the first day. Him and it's no beautiful. one in his family it's beautiful. went there. You don't have to be good and everyone believes. You know what I mean? You could be I think they I think they get off on like the biggest like the like the fact that they released five angles of Tower Seven going down. The fact that they didn't somehow get a hold of that video footage, like get fucking what's that dude born? Jason Bourne on the case. Yeah. Get dudes like that. There's plenty of dudes like that. Oh, they, they really are. exist. The whole, those movies are based on real people. My house. Get ten of those motherfuckers. Operation, destroy that fucking video. How did they love that shit? They gotta love that shit because they could have easily squashed that. They video. love the fuck. I also think that sometimes they loved it. They're so smart, but they're so busy, and shit gets through the cracks, and they fuck up. And they're, they know these giant things that with a million yeah, moving pieces. Maybe sometimes maybe the pieces they try fall. their best. They try their best, but they know when there's a fuck up, they're like, so what? What's going to happen? Nothing's going to happen. Nobody is going to jail. Boston Massacre. When Boston Marathon. What cool, do you think? That's the cool thing about the Illuminati. Seriously. Though. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Minus the kid fucking. Yeah. Get rid of that. Minus the kid fucking. Let's just assume they got rid of that. Okay. And they asked you to join the Illuminati. Dude, you're above the law. You can get away with murder. Yeah. He- I'm, not, I'm not saying... Like I want to kill people, and I'm a murderer. I'm a, I'm a, I, I love you my family. Get, you want to get jumped in without the violence or no, the sexual you depravity. Never know, you never know when you might have to kill a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that could come up. Uh, you know you, what I mean? Are you? Is this kind of you putting it out there? Hey, stop fucking kids. No more. The Satanism's cool. I like the Satanism. Can you imagine, dude? Going to at we've Church of Satan. We've going to that. Church of Satan. Can you imagine? And we've done a couple episodes on that. Dude, can we you talked about it. I'll just, do they probably play Slayer in church and it's not bad? Yeah. They'd be like, yeah, that's kind of cool. I need something happen. Oh, 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 oh. The Church of Satan would be fucking awesome. Are we Church of Satan or are we uh, the Satanic Temple? We're Satanic Temple. Dude, that would, that's, that's cool. Um, being above the law. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are we, Steven Seagal? Come on. Come on. Everybody wants to be friends with cops and Eddie shit. Bravo you know what I mean? Oh, I don't want to be a football the law. I want to pay for my crimes. I want to pay. Fuck that. You get into your Look at Bill Clinton. Oh, my God. That guy's never going to jail. You know how many... You know how much shit he's done? How he's done, dude. A lot. He's like, you don't give a fuck. Fucked everything. Don't killed don't everybody. Fuck. Hillary's not going to jail ever. They probably told him. They probably told Hillary, man, we're gonna. <laughs> 
we're going to release a lot of fucking emails. She's like, oh, shit. You know nothing's going to happen. Oh, she probably was like, oh, it's going to just, nothing's going to happen. So what? What, <laughs> like are you, what are you, you going to go to jail? Oh, shit. What are you going to go to jail? Nobody's going to jail. There's no jail. No one went to jail for 9-11. Nope. Nobody went, no one's going to jail. <laughs> the only dude that ever go to jail who was an elitist was Bernie Madoff. And the only reason he went to jail is because he ripped off rich people. Yep. If he'd ripped off poor people, he'd still be walking around. He ripped off rich people. Yeah. And they knew something was up because his returns were the only ones that weren't ebbing and flowing with the market. And he was re- giving them huge returns. And they were just, we love it. How fun would it be brainwashing people? Uh, Think about it. That would be fucking fun. Oh, my God. Dude, have you ever looked at this? You know what? And then you know what? You're one of those. You, you, go in, you get in the Illuminati. And the, the the people that are way on the other side, there's nothing you can say or do. You just fuck with them. But you give you give like you know the people that know you, you give them you give them like a little love. You leak a little info. You know what I mean? You leak a little. You and I disagree on Alex uh, Jones. I think that's what he does. Buy some shit. Let people know and shit. I think that's why Alex. And you know what? People can people can talk shit about Alex Jones, but you know what? I mean, woodish. I think people. He doesn't want. Listen. He talks about CNN being fake news, and yeah. he talks about the pedophilia uh, scene that's engulfed the, the the government. He talks about that all the time. How the fuck can he be a shill when he's trying to expose what's holding everything together? How could he be a shill? Uh, because, because he doesn't talk about Israel. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's like, like you know what? Well, he starts talking bad. about. He, say, like, he talks about North Korea, and you know how I feel about North Korea. I'm like, you know what? He's using North Korea as a, this as a way, jihadist as, stuff. as his way. Anybody into fucking conspiracies or understanding of the deep state? No, the ju- Islamic jihadist is just bullshit. That we're bombing the fuck out of them, and they're just mostly defending themselves. That we're the back. When you say Islamic jihadist, when you're crying about Syrian refugees, now if he goes to me, hey, dude, the UN put out something in the 1990s uh, replacement population in which they say they're going to replace the European population with fucking uh, immigration I would I would respect that but when you're talking about Islamic jihadists when you know they're on the payroll that they're not the enemy but, that's some fake yeah, shit but, but listen, I question that but listen I get it I get it but all you gotta remember what your agenda is everybody has a different agenda there's 9-11 experts and that's all they wanna hear and any other conspiracy theory they shoot it down because they, didn't, they don't want it to discredit all the work they've done. And then there's JFK guy experts. They don't believe 9-11 because that'll discredit their JFK work. There's all these guys and they think everybody who doesn't agree with them is uh, um, a shill. But the fact is everybody is, the more you're into something, you're, that's your thing. Like maybe the whole Syrian thing or whatever, jihadist, that's your thing. To, to Alex Jones, his main thing is that America thrives. So if it means Thrawn, he knows that we're there funding ISIS, and he knows, he's like, but you know what? I don't give a fuck about them. I'm going to say whatever it takes to to make us benefit. He might not even believe in North Korea and nuclear bombs, but what he'll say is he'll say, he'll use that to manipulate something that's good for America. So people take that as he's a shill, but one thing's for certain. He brings up... The, sh- the glue that's holding all this, the whole the whole globalist network, the elitist, the Illuminati, what's holding it all together is the children. And Alex Jones talks about that every day. So I'm like, he's talking about that. There's no way he's working for them. They would say, you don't need to talk about it that I, much. I respect that. You know what I mean? He talks about it all the time. That's the most taboo shit. That's the shit that everyone's being blackmailed on. That's why everyone's corrupt. Yep. That's why everyone's keeping their mouth yep. shut. That's why everyone's yep. doing diabolical shit. Yep. That's why the media is yep. nothing but lies and fake. They're all in on it and they're trying to, and he's bringing it up all the time. So just because he's not bringing up Israel all the goddamn time, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, he's protecting the Jews. You know what happens is we're all indoctrinated to to believe that if you start you start talking about Jews, that you're anti-Semitic, and then that fucks up 
all his shit, his shit. No, I get trying that. to get I didn't America say anything right. About he goes, that. he does. I find why even bring up the whole? There's there's flat Earth guys that were all into the you know uh, uh, you can consider them Holocaust deniers, but they won't bring up the Holocaust shit when they're trying to push flat Earth. Why not? Why don't you start with your the the Holocaust denier shit? You know why? Because you can't start with that because you will lose everybody. Yeah. You gotta wait. You got you want to sell flat Earth? You better not start with the fucking Holocaust denier shit. You shut the fuck up about that. So people don't realize that they're all in their own well, world, that, calling Bob. each other a shill when there's. The, the shills are obvious out there. They're obvious. And Alex Jones is not saying shill shit. He's not saying. He's every day bringing different people who are working on breaking down the pedophilia network that's holding everything together that everyone's being blackmailed by. Alex Jones is talking about that every day. If he was working for them... It was like, we don't need to be talking about that, motherfucker. Talk about some fucking tax shit. That is shit. a valid Talk point. about some tax shit. How we're stealing this and how we're stealing that. Don't fucking bring up the kids shit. Oh, no, I got That's you. the deepest shit of all. He brings it up all the time. So that tells me, and I know Alex. I know. If he was a paid shill, he would be like a double agent to me because I've hung out with him. I partied with him. Spent a weekend in Vegas with him. In Austin with him. Hung out with him. He is the exact same person that you see, he's the exact same person. He'd sit here and talk about the same thing. He knows he use teleprompters. Alex Jones, people are fucking jealous of him. That's what's going on. They're jealous. He is a little bit crazy. He is. He says he goes fucking wild and crazy, and then they, they edit that shit together to make him look like a loon, and it works. People go, oh, he's a loon. Because they do it all the time, just like the thing when you said, hey, dude, Alex, it says, uh, uh, it says that Alex Jones is, is saying that uh, the headline was uh, NASA, NASA denies InfoWars claim that there's a, a child traffic colony on Mars. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the mainstream media said, but it didn't go down like that. I actually listened to it, knew this was coming. I was like, oh, this is what they're going to say tomorrow. He had some ex-CIA whistleblower guy talking about the pedophilia network that's going on. He went deep, and you're thinking he's real. And then he says, there, the rumor is that there's a pedophilia network in Mars where they're colonizing all the, with the kids. And then right there, I'm like, oh, shit, this guy's a plant. He's here to fuck shit up. They're going to use that. <laughs> and Alex goes, oh, I don't know anything about that. Uh, I talk about things that we can prove, and that we can prove we know that this guy did it. We can prove that. I'm talking about things we can prove. He's not even, wasn't even entertaining that. This guy, this guest via phone, XCI whistleblower. And then Alex Jones, once the headline came out that NASA had to make a public statement denying InfoWars claims. Come on, man. So you can't trust shit they say. 